What's going on guys? Welcome back to Blues Fans TV. Chelsea have just lost 3-0 to Sheffield United. Uh, to say that I'm pissed off is a fucking understatement, guys. Um, I don't want to ramble on too much because I know I'm just going to get more and more agitated. Um, I just don't want to see this club come a meme, to be fair. You know, with a fucking free this, free that, free this. Um, I just don't want to see it. I really don't. Um, Sheffield United, hats off, better team today. Didn't even need to be the Sheffield United we've seen all season. You know, the ones that are challenging for Europe. I think this is the Chelsea we saw against West Ham, the Chelsea we saw against Villa, except minus the clinical instinct to score. That, that was the worst game I've seen on Chelsea's side since lockdown was lifted and the Premier League restarted. Um, I think with the defence as well, James, shit. Rudiger, shit. Christensen was unlucky with the injury, but he was still shit. Um, Zuma weren't the best um, so they've got to take accountability I think a lot of people will try and scapegoat Kepa today but there's nothing he could have done you know when you've got a non-existent defence when you've got literally a statue in defence you, you can't do anything you could have Manuel Neuer in goal there we're still conceding three or more uh, I think we were lucky to only concede three as well you know they really come out fighting the crossing as well, just every cross that come in from Sheffield, I thought they were going to score. I did not have faith in our defence today. And I think Lampard needs to do that as well. Um, and I think Sooness is right. You know, look, look at, we've signed Werner, we've signed Ziyech. We're probably looking to splash out on Havertz. But at the moment, I, I think we need, to focus, we need to get our priorities right. Yeah, look, I want Havertz. I do want to see him in the Chelsea shirt playing with Werner. But if we're spending that much money at the moment, we need to focus on the real problem, which is defence. And it has been a problem this entire season. You, you can only do so well with those defenders. Um, it, it, I want to see you know people break through. I want to see the likes of Tamori break through. I want to see Zuma you know, at his full capability, Rudiger at his full capability. But I think we need like a proven defender, a proven solid defender. Um, and a left-back. We really need a left-back because... Alonso isn't a left back, he's a wing back. He can't play uh, unless it's in, you know, the wing back formation three at the back, which I think we should have started with as well. As Pilaquate is getting on, boys, um, we hate to see it, but it's the reality. He's getting on. Um, and I think he's more suited to a centre back role anyway. Um, and I think we need to splash out on defence before we even think about signing habits. Uh, we can't be a, a, a title challenging club next season if we're conceding 40 goals or more a season. We can't, you know, challenge for Europe if we're conceding 40 or more goals. We we are playing terrible since this restart. You know, we bar two like good results, City and Leicester, uh, and you know the good display against Watford. We've been really shit, boys. Um, and I think Lampard needs to address that, like really address that, and go from there. Anyway, um, this has been my review, guys. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for uh, 100k. Um, please keep the comments on as well. I do read every comment, good or bad. You know, I love to hear about the feedback, so keep that coming. Um, and if you do like this content, please do subscribe to Blues Fans TV. Check out Lewis's videos, Lawrence's videos, Sophie's videos, and you know all the content that's going on on that channel. You know, everyone is uh, working really hard, but. In the meantime, guys, stay safe during this period and um, we'll catch you uh, at the next game.